Hi, I'm Hazel, and today I'm going to walk you through how to get the secret Murloc pet Glimmer. This is available in the game right now. Some recommendations before we start, you will need some battle pets. Uh, level 1 pets is fine, but you probably want to have at least three separate battle pets. Preferably flying or beast type pets, but you could buy whatever off the auction house at level 1 and you'll probably be fine. Secondly, if you have a druid character, use that for this. If you don't have a druid but you have the underlight angler, use the character that has that. If you have none of the above, that's also fine, you can use an underwater mount and get by. If you also don't have any underwater mounts, you may want to pick up some swim speed potions. Parts of this questline involve swimming into and then out of fatigue zones, and it's much easier to do that without dying with some decent swim speed. So to get started, you're going to want to head here in Grizzly Hills at coordinates 18, 88. If you're on a druid, you can dreamwalk to get right to the Grizzly Hills from the Emerald Greenway, which will save you a bunch of time here. When you're here, you are looking for an ice flow with a murloc that runs away, leaving behind a scale that starts the quest. Doesn't matter if you saw the murloc run, basically just get to the spot and start the quest. Uh, this was a little buggy when I did it, there was no scale on the ground, and there's no trick to it, so if it won't spawn, just kind of uh, wait. Once you've got the quest, it's going to send you out to the Borean Tundra to learn more information, and then send you back to the Grizzly Hills to gather some crab meat. Uh, you will get some water elixirs to help you with the water breathing throughout this process, which is helpful if you do not have a druid form or an underlight angler, or warlocks can also cast water breathing on themselves, but for everybody else, those water breathing elixirs will help here. Uh, lots of underwater questing. So once you have your crab meat, that's going to turn into Glimmer Gut, found here in the boat wreckage back in the Grizzly Hills. This is just a standard issue quest line at this point, so you don't really need my maps or anything to find it where you're going. Uh, do be mindful of fatigue zones, though. If you look at your mini map, you're going to notice the border between the non-fatigue area and the fatigue area, and we're going to be dipping back and forth quite a bit. So whenever your quest line asks you to go do something past the fatigue zone, just kind of look at your minimap to figure out where the shortest possible route is, and then don't go AFK while you're halfway there. So the quest line is going to have you get a pile of blubber fat from Horker nearby. We deliver that to the Glimmerfin Oracle, who is going to send us to get a pearl just beyond the fatigue zone. There may be an elite snake nearby, but you do not need to fight him for this, so just avoid aggroing him if you can, loot your pearl, and then head on back. Our next step in this quest line is a pet battle, and I promise you, you can really use any team. This fight will scale down to your pet level, so if you don't have any level 25 pets, that's totally fine. Just pit your level 1 pets against it, you'll probably do fine. Flying and beast damage will make this easier, but I just bought the three cheapest level 1 pets off the auction house, and I got it done with no pets dying, so I believe that you can do this. After the pet battle, we're going to return to the Oracle, and they'll send us to collect seaweed once again in the fatigue zone. While you're doing this, be careful not to touch these zappy algae that can knock you back and kind of slow you down. And after turning in that step, it's time to kill the Great Moaquin and obtain Glimmer's Cracked Egg. This is a nice short quest line. It does not take very long. The longest part of it is honestly traveling back and forth between Borean Tundra and Grizzly Hills, and Druids in particular can skip that with Dreamwalk, so not bad at all. The pet is very cute. It's another recolor of Murloc, such as Murgle or Squirky, but you can never have too many. At level 25, Glimmer has perfectly usable, but not out of the ordinary stats and moves. It's mostly just a cute pet and something to go get while you wait for the pre-patch event to start. Blizzard has also released a purple Murloc Funko Pop, which is potentially to do with them adding this pet to the game. Unclear, but it wouldn't be the first time that they've released matching Murloc merchandise, so there's that. And that is really it. Thank you so much for watching, have fun getting your glimmer, uh, pop by my stream and take a look if you like streams or if your house is just really quiet, and have a wonderful, wonderful day. Bye.